Welcome back to Building Roots, where we are building a straw bale house on a family farm in North Dakota. We have been busy enjoying life with the kids while spending less time working on the house and editing videos. Our goal was to be moved in the house before the cold weather came, because let's be honest, living in a house with frozen water pipes and a heater that runs only when it wants to is no fun. Though with the highs for the days having been 40 below with wind chill, we are still grateful for each day that we have, and we know soon enough we will be in the new house. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy our latest projects. You're sure tough. You gonna be okay? No. Oh. Should we go home and wash you up? We are ready to start working on a railing system upstairs. We have redwood posts that were savaged from an apartment building that was putting up a new deck. There are cutoffs like three feet, four feet long. We have uh, long enough to work for our railing system. My uncle got them out of the dumpster before they were gonna get thrown in the landfill. We put them up to see what they look like and we decided we do wanna burn them just to kind of match the rest of our beams that we have going on already and our other posts that we're tying into. The kids and I are gonna be working on is getting them burned, brushed down, and washed down. For our railing, we are going with rebar. We're gonna do one inch rebar all the way through. Our neighbor has some on hand that they've had laying around for many years. We're gonna do running them horizontally through our posts. While they made these plates, uh, we are gonna drill them to the base of our railing post and then anchor them into, into our OSB from there. Our posts are gonna be spaced about five feet apart. We're gonna go and just use these as our guide and figure out exactly where each of our posts are gonna go. We have a piece of rebar in here. They're all really rusty, of course, from sitting outside. We are going to try the soda blaster that we bought for our cabinets and see if it'll take the rust off on the rebar. I kind of like that clean, polished look. That way I don't have to finish it with any toxic chemicals because at this point, we're either gonna have to use like some kind of clear coat polyurethane over the rusted rebar or spray paint. Mention winter hit. The soda blaster didn't work quite like we wanted it to. We did try a wire brush and it works really well just to remove the rust. So that's what we're going to go with and get it all brushed down. So that's going to take some time. And then we're going to drill little holes in where the leg bolts are going to be sticking out of the bottom of our post so we're just going to drill into the OSB. We'll pick up the rest of the rebar from our neighbor. Okay, 
It's getting pretty chilly out, so we're going to bring the rebar in here and cut it with the chop saw to the length that we need. Seven, oh boy, eight! Yeah! Dad, I want you! I want you! We're gonna drill our first post. This one's gonna go against the plaster wall, so we are only drilling in an inch into here. Our other posts and the two posts in the middle will be drilled all the way through, for the rebar to go all the way through to the other end of that side. Just gotta mark this and we'll start drilling. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. We need a bigger impact. We also need to go and get shorter bolts because we're going to have some holes going all the way through these posts with rebar. Mom, does this spin around really fast? Yes. Mom, maybe you can do it right now. I think we'll give it a try. <laughs> so we have a brush attachment for this drill of my father's oh. and we're gonna use that to clean our rebar, get all the rust off. We are doing it inside because it's really cold out. It's like 35 mile per hour winds. One done, about 11 more long ones to go, and then some short. Taking it off really nicely. We already burnt through one of these brushes. Yeah, we're only on our second rebar chunk.
Take a win? Mm -hmm. No, but take a win. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. That bow on the rebar is making it a little trickier to get in through the holes. You know, put that bow in this spot, that bow in that. It's pretty close in a way. Let's try that then, huh? We got our post all marked to the correct heights. Now we need to drill in just about an inch into our post here. We absolutely love the way our railing turned out. It looks awesome. It's really exciting though is that we use all salvage materials. So we got the rebar from our neighbor. He just had it laying around for years and the posts, our redwood posts that were just cuts off of that were getting thrown in the dumpster. We burned them down, wire brushed the rebar because it was extremely rusty. We didn't want our kids rubbing their hands along that. So it's nice and shiny again and we got to put up. We wouldn't be happier with how it turned out. We still have the other half of the house to do and the little section by the stairs. We are going to do that a little bit differently because we didn't want to waste so much rebar. So we do have three long sections to go all the way just like we did here. And then the other three aren't going to be full length sections. We have our three long pieces of rebar cut and brushed. We just have to cut our last three pieces. We're using up the scraps that we have left over. So we have um, three 10 foot pieces and three uh, five foot pieces, basically, that we need to cut yet, get our plates on, and then tomorrow we wanna get this railing up.
Last set of railings. Okay, you gotta get it in this last hole then. Yep, okay, push in. All right. Okay. Oh, he's way more. That one's longer. Boy. Now we can go with a short one, right? Yep. Now what? We have to put it up. Two, three. Watch your hands. Just make sure that And you gotta come long way, huh? I do about a half of it. Okay guys, we all gotta move it towards dad on the count of three. One, two, three. Boy. What, mom? You're dirty. Nothing new there with you. There. How many does he need? A lot. Our 42 foot railing system is all finished. It actually went up really smooth. It was just a little cleaning the rebar that took a lot of time. Spend the night in the hotel, go swimming, and go to Sky Zone, jumping. <gasps> Let it go up! Yeah! 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 Best and it's vacation ever. Bad. I'm gonna chuck him in the snow hill over there. <laughs>